Hello, say hi to a happy day and enjoy listening while I read to you a story. Eric dives in. One morning, a young Prince Eric, his puppy Max, and his advisor Grimsby were visiting the ship docks. Eric was going to get to look at a boat. Eric loved ships and wanted to be a sailor someday. Grimsby led Eric and Max to where a beautiful fishing boat was docked. Ahoy, Grimsby, called the captain. And greetings, your highness. Feast your eyes, but feast quick. We're about to shove off. You're leaving already? Eric asked. Aye, young sir, answered the captain. The tide waits for no one. Would you like to come along? Eric hesitated. He was a good swimmer, but a few months earlier, while he was playing in the ocean, a strong current had pulled him away from the shore. Grimsby had helped him, but Eric hadn't gone in the ocean since that day. What if there was an emergency on the boat and he needed to jump in the sea? Although Eric was nervous, he couldn't resist the chance to explore a real boat. He grabbed his puppy and headed toward the ship. Max can wait here, Grimsby said. He's too young to sail. But Eric didn't want Max to miss the fun. He doubled back and snuck the puppy on board behind a crate when Grimsby wasn't looking. As the boat began to move away from the docks, Max couldn't help letting out an excited bark. Oh, Eric, said Grimsby, this was your choice, so Max is your responsibility. Watch over him now. With the command from the captain, the sails unfurled and filled with wind. The boat leaped forward, skimming across the waves as it ventured farther and farther from the shore. They were off. The captain called to Eric, Young prince, fancy a turn at the helm. Eric gasped. He was going to steer the ship. You're a natural, said the captain. You will be sailing these waters by yourself in no time. Eric looked down embarrassed, then he admitted, I don't think I can be a sailor. I don't like to swim. Ah, said the captain. Had a bad day out at sea, did you? Happens to all of us. That's just the ocean's way of teaching us to respect her. But you've got to show the ocean the next most important thing. The, wi the will to try again, yes. Over the next few hours, Eric discovered what it was like to work on a real ship. He learned how to climb on the ropes and tie down the sails. Then the captain showed Eric how sailors use a special device to navigate the ocean. The crew even taught him how to make scrubbing the deck fun. Finally, Eric and Max helped the sailors pull in a net full of fish. Eric and the crew sorted through their catch. It's a good haul, one sailor said. We should celebrate with the swim. Eric paused. He was having a great time, but even after his talk with the captain, he still didn't want to get into the ocean. Just then, Max heard a splash. Max stood on a crate and leaned over the trail. There was a mischievous little dolphin looking up at the boat. Using its tail, the dolphin flicked the sea star right into Max's face. Max barked wildly. Eric and the sailors ran over, but there was nothing to see. The dolphin was gone. Poor Max, said Eric, cleaning off the puppy's face. Come on, I'll tie you a good knot to chew on. As Eric showed the sailors this is best not tying though, Max went back over to the edge of the boat. The little puppy leaned over to the rail again, looking for the dolphin. His paws slipped on the wet crate and he tumbled into the ocean. Max, Eric called. For a second, Eric froze, but then he remembered Max didn't know how to swim. Eric knew he had to try. He kicked off his shoes, ran for the edge of the boat, dodged grim pieces, reaching hands, and dove into the water. Underneath the surface, Eric could see Max's white fur in the water. The puppy puddled his legs as best as he could. Eric swam toward his dog. 
When Eric grabbed Max, the sailors on the ship let out a cheer. They tossed one end of the rope over to the side of the boat. Eric carefully tied it around Max like a harness. As the sailors pulled Max up to safety, Eric looked around. He was all right. As soon as Max's paws touched the deck, he shook his sweat fur all over Grimsby. Eric called up to the sailors from the ocean. I think someone said something about celebrating with a swim. As he splashed and swam, Eric was glad that he had been willing to get back into the ocean even though he'd felt unsure. He realized that the captain was right. The water was full of surprises and, he, and Eric was ready to dive in it. The end. I hope you enjoy listening to the story, Eric Dives In. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to listen to more of our favorite book stories. See you soon!